Simon's been struggling. OK, you can't just go off and leave your kid in his own like that. What were you thinking? I was thinking that I might not be here much longer, Carla. I've been in hospital because I was vomiting blood. They gave me surgery to stop the bleeding. And now it looks like my liver's packing in. But apart from that, I'm fine. So how was your Christmas? Have I done something wrong? No, why? Because you've hardly said a word to me all morning. Steve, I've told you, I've got stuff on my mind. Work, mostly. You only run a flower shop. It's hardly stressful. Oh, shut up, Steve. It's hard graft. I am at that flower market at 5am and you're still snoring away. I do not... Great. OK, thanks. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Finally taken my advice and downloaded Grinder, have you? That was the bishop. Takes all sorts, doesn't it? <sighs> I was talking to him about the money we've raised from selling the pews. Now, it'll help the setting up of the halfway house. Thanks to you. £6,000. How good is that? I was happy to do my bit for the God Squad. Hey, oh, mate, get your laughing gear around that. Pecan, maple, cinnamon swirl. Oh, mate, I'm sorry, I can't face that. But listen, oh, thanks anyway. Oh! I, you know what I was thinking? Us blokes, we need to stick together. Yeah? In what way do you mean? Well, you know... Here you go. Is this a good time? Uh, yeah. Yeah, of course it is. Oh, what have you got there? Um, I've got a, a latte, two flat whites and some almond croissant. Breakfast of champions. Is that OK? Well, I'm sure she meant well. Yeah, I know she means well, Steve. Everybody means well. It's just, you know, me sitting around here all day doing jigsaws is just not what I need. Well, I can't give you a drink. No, no, I'm not talking about having a drink. I just... I need something, you know, keep my mind occupied. Like what? Well, I was thinking... maybe I could do a few... You all right? And just so you know, yeah, I'm partial to a cup of coffee during the family crisis as well. Sorry. I know, so we apply to foster a teenager. What are we thinking? Do you think we'll hear back from social services today? I hope so. Yeah, they might not like the fact that we instigated it all. Look, it's a good placement, who cares? The assessment went well and Kelly wants to be with us, so that's one hurdle out of the way. Yeah, I guess so. But I'm really chuffed you're on board with this. Well, why wouldn't I be? Why are you being weird? I'm not. And defensive. What have you done now? It's like you're psychic. Yeah, well, it freaks me out when you get all weird. What, what have you been up to? Well, you know what? Nothing terrible. Something perfectly normal in most families. Aggie phoned. And we... Good morning, my beloved. Oh! Someone's been on the Barbara Cartlands. Oh, hush your mouth. Babs isn't nearly racy enough for my bedside table. Did you sleep all right? Yeah, yeah, you know, eventually. What? Pain? Do we need to talk about opening your meds? No, I found this podcast in there. A guy called Buzz had this tattoo studio for years on the Lower East Side in New York. You binged it, didn't you? How many episodes? 87, well, you don't sound it. But I said you don't sound it. Y you don't... <clears throat> Never mind. Yeah, I, I need to take a down payment so that we can uh, proceed with the arrangements. Yeah, have you got a card? No, no, not on the mantelpiece. A, a credit or debit card? Yeah. But oh, we'll um, yeah, see. Paul, have you got a minute? No. Not if you've come to have another go. Waving a white flag, actually. Look. I doubt you and me are ever going to be knocking back pints in the Rovers, but I've got to find a way to at least be civil. And you think I haven't been? No, I'm not saying... <sighs> right, what do I look? Mm, very sexy. <laughs> not really the look I'm going for. I'm speaking to Kev at dinner time. You look fine. He's your friend, not your bank manager. Yeah, I know, but I don't want him to think I'm taking the mick. Eight grand's a lot of money. Mm. Who could resist your gorgeous smile? How's young Kelly doing? Oh, as you might expect. I hate seeing her in that place. Yeah. 
Well, I sometimes think Rita deserves a medal for putting up with me for as long as she did. <laughs> Can't be easy for you and him, Ran. No, it's not, but, uh. I think you're going to look so cool. I mean, as long as I don't look daft. Daft? How would you look daft? Well, it's not the gear that I'd usually go for, that's all. And now you have me to show for you. Yeah, and shopping for me is one thing, but paying for it, that's another. I wanted to. Hey, but if you don't like them, we can just take them back, okay? Okay. If you want, we could go home and you can try them on for me before I go back to. Yeah. Except she's not waiting forever for that cams referral. Mm. It's good for her to have a bit of hope on the horizon, so. Thank you. Me? You like? I don't think she'd have gone unless she'd nudged her along. I let her down, both of you, when I did my disappearing act. I'm still working my way into credit with both of you. You're a good one. I oh, know. <laughs> right, come back. Ooh, he's up finally then. Fresh pastries from Roy's and coffee too. What did I do to deserve you two, eh? Come on, everything turned out all right in the end. Yeah, no, thanks to you. Well, it's not my fault if you can't keep track of your employees. Oh, you mean your son? Well, it's not my responsibility. Oh, that's interesting. Like a responsibility seems to run in the family. Do you know what? I come in here to apologise for yesterday, but instead, go take a long walk off a short pier. Oh, Eileen. And you can pay for the candy floss. You've got a lot to learn, young man. Sorry? Little camera. Right, yeah, look, maybe we should just head over to the corner shop and start setting up for dev shoot. Kev might be ready by the time we get back. Well, okie dokie, I'll see you there. Hey, if Kev chickens out, will you step in? No way. I'll let you off. As long as you give me a private viewing later. <laughs> Everything okay? Yeah, no, I, I just don't really need to say this. Um, I'll, I'll follow you on. That sofa's a nightmare. It'd been better off sleeping in a skip. And what'd you expect? I'm running a funeral parlour, not a chuffing Airbnb. I didn't say I wasn't grateful, right? I really appreciate you looking out for me, and I will make it up to you. Aye, well, right, now I'll settle for you putting a tie on. We're collecting Mr Biggin in half an hour. Oh, please tell me his name's Ivor. Just for that, you can get the bickies. Go on. Field general. We'll be there as soon as we can, Mrs. Wallace. And um, I'm so sorry for your loss. Yeah. Now you've got my number. Anything you need, tell our love. Always sad that first call. Still, it's work, isn't it? Well, I brought you a coffee to keep you going and a hot chocolate for Todd. Oh, very kind of you. You're a good mum. Oh. Hey, I've just seen one of them fellas, beard like an Edwardian cricketer, going to work on his scooter. <laughs> now, if he's one of them hipster, he's a bit off the beaten trap round here. You're very welcome, Todd. Grown man on a scooter. Honestly. Beginning to sound like my mother. She hated men in tracksuit bottoms. Said it was the end of the working man. It's in the fitted trousers, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> you not got chocolate? Oh, just getting my interview with the DC. Um, well, I, I'm hopeful that it will help the investigation. I, I just wanted to let you know. Were you after some prayers? Sorry. For doing something that you should have done in the first place? James. Here we are. You're the one agreed to a nookie ban at Mary's behest. I'm not living like a nun. We don't have to. Mm. Well, clearly you don't fancy me. I'll not bother anymore. Oh, stop it, you daft Mary. Of course I fancy you. I fancied you since the day I laid eyes on you. I just don't want to... I mean, he's a councillor. He's supposed to represent local people. But do you know what really makes my blood boil? He shouldn't give two hoots. Are you listening? What? Yeah, 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 of course I am. What was I talking about then? That counsellor. And? Boiling blood and something about owls. Oh, before.
before I forget, can you pick Liam up after footy? Mm. You know they won't be playing there for much longer. Why? I'll give him a go ahead for the bypass. You kidding? Mm. Coach ran. He reckons they'll find somewhere else to play, but it might take a while. Well, what about the park? Well, the bypass goes right through the middle of it. Gosh, I didn't even know that bypass was going ahead. I thought they... Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer, do. I'm half crazy, all for the love of you. Well, it was only a matter of time, wasn't it? Yeah, you wish. Interesting fact about that song. Said to have been inspired by Daisy Greville. Countess of Warwick, and one of the many mistresses of Edward VII. Bet you're glad you mentioned it now. <laughs> right. There you go. Oh, thanks, Stu. And I've got you a big biscuit as well. Oh, a cookie. Brilliant. A cookie, my backside. <laughs> We're not Americans, are we? <laughs> anyway, you better make it last. We're down to our last quid. It's a uh, past its sell by date, but um, if you don't get it, it should be fine. Yeah, cheers. Hey, you know what's weird? Apparently, you wouldn't talk to a dog the way I talk to her. Have you ever heard me say anything on towards to her? No. No. Well, it was just Grace chewing my ear off in the road, was that so? Oh, here's Emma. Hi, Emma. I haven't finished with you yet. <laughs> I'm so glad I bumped into you. Do you have any idea where I might find Stu? Um, why on earth would I tell you? I'd very much like the opportunity to tell him how sorry I am accusing him like that. It was unacceptable. Yeah, you got that right. Come on, Kelly, she's trying to put things right. No, no, she just feels guilty, so she's trying to make herself feel better, and that's just tough. I'm nervous. Don't be. You are in safe hands. Have you ever taught anyone to drive? Well, no. But I did teach my mate to ride a bike when we were kids, and he said I was a natural, so... Okay. Oh, now you turn up. After the work's done. Excuse me, I was taking delivery of this little beauty. Check it out. Talk about adrenaline rush, eh? My gran is tearing her little heart out in there, packing up all her worldly goods, and you're playing elevators. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry, wasn't it? I think that's the last. I told him. I said going into business with that woman was a mistake. Oh, Gail, you can't blame George. <laughs> Believe me, ma'am, I don't. In fact, I was thinking of asking him if he'd like to do a bit more genealogy research with me down at the library. Oh, well, that's nice. Mm. Uh, any more to say about the mysterious fanner? Eh? Yes. Oh, didn't I tell you? Well... Sorry, we to run out of milk. Thanks. So, did you do you see this guy last night? What guy? The bloke Paul was with. Oh, him. Yeah. Coming to see you. Well, my dinner break's nearly over now, so. It's not spare me two minutes, no. It's all been said. I just want you to believe that I had nothing to do with little Sam getting kidnapped. Nothing. I know you said. What have I got to swear on to make you believe me? Nothing. Maria. Gary, I question everything that trips off your tongue. Can you blame me? For nothing. What does he look like? In your head, do you think you're Marlon Brando in that, um, <clears throat> you know, that film, The Wild One? You mean The Mild One? <laughs> Yeah, dead funny, that. He's squeaking. <laughs> and it sounds like one of them balloon benders at a kid's party. I think you look great. Can't mean when somebody wants to burn everything because they don't want anyone else to have it. Scorched earth. Scorched earth. It's like that. It's like he wants to ruin it all. And then who's going to have to pick up the pieces? Why don't you tell me? Hey. Well, look, I got first dibs, but... But what? Well, it doesn't matter. And then my mum had a heart attack, so I just went out of my mind. But you'd be interested. Well? Harvey Gaskell, are you out of your mind? Oh, I thought you would have chilled out by now. You know what you did to Liam. Toya's sister. 
Then you got a son involved in a gang. Perhaps he's misunderstood. There's two sides to every story, as we both know. I can't believe you even like skin me. He was obviously just a pawn in a much bigger drama. You know him? What's his name? A uh, Stu. He comes down to the soup kitchen sometimes. Why is he? Is he in some sort of trouble? Trouble? <laughs> no, it's just Ash was. I um I was worried that I shot changed him at the shop. You know, I could I could tell he was homeless. I'd hate to think he was out of pocket. Well, that's very sweet of you. And you can come down to the soup kitchen later today if you like, see if he's about. Yeah, that's a great idea. Thanks. All right, well, we are um we're at the disused car park under the railway arch on the other side of the red wreck. What's tickled you? I just got chatting to a woman up the road. Oh, I? I was fussing over a dog. Uh, no need to get jealous. <laughs> jealous? <laughs> it was a little poodle or something. I said, what's her name? She said, uh, it's Millie with an I-E. And what's the funny about that? <laughs> Why well, would I care how she spells her dog's name? Oh, sounds like you're obsessed with her. What? I'm in a room. Hey, just the man I was on my way to see you. I thought one of those is for me. Yes, it is. By way of saying thank you, but you can stand down. Police have dropped the investigation. Oh, brilliant. So they decided to stop listening to silly gossip then? I was getting ready to unleash hell. They were right to check, weren't they? I mean, it's child safety. I didn't do anything illegal, but as a teacher, I need to do better. Yeah, well, I'm just glad it's all over. Although you do know that my hourly fee is a little bit more than a latte, right? <laughs> Hey, 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 Alahan! You tell your son to keep it in his trousers. Right, then she had me McDonald's again, because no one is forcing anyone to do anything that they want to around here. You know the score. Let's get a pat on the back. Girls, they, they get a reputation. What says? Are these fools in the world like this? Ah, he needs to go and sow his wild oats somewhere else. Why? Is he not good enough for your Amy? No one's good enough for my. And it's got a drain plug, so you can rinse it all out with water. Can you just repeat that? I think you just sent her to sleep. D don't repeat that. Oh, I'm sorry. Did that embarrassing you? You know, one day you two might decide to have a family of your own. Then you'll be interested in storage space. You can go now. Not that I'm encouraging you to have kids. So. I mean, you are being safe, yeah? Yeah? Good. Well, I'll make some more waffles.